Shout out to Lifeguard, T.O. in the event. Yeah. He does very well. Yelling. He's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> He's a good yeller. If you think about it, T.O.s are just professional yellers, so... Uh if your T.O. is not yelling, then he's probably not a good T.O. That works. So, I <laughs> can't really think right now with <laughs> lifeguard yelling down there. It's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming out of a person like lifeguard, I wouldn't expect them to yell as loud. <laughs> but nonetheless, doing a really good job, T.O. I appreciate him a ton. Just Stalker, I see you in the chat. 2v2 is on Saturday for Rocket League. Throwing it out there. If you participated in it, I'll participate in it. How about that? <laughs> My name is Topher James. I'm also the head coach of our pro Rocket League team. They come in on Saturdays. They hard fought battles for the qualifiers for our RLRS. Unfortunately, we didn't make it. It just means that we have uh, plenty of time to warm up, get better for future events. Yeah, th those guys are bees too, honestly. <laughs> They're so good, but... <laughs> Yeah, I, if I if I were to compete in that Rocket League tournament, I'm I'm gonna need like one of those three to carry me out of there. So, <laughs> being a League of Legends person and a Smash person, what was it like watching Rocket League the other day? So, the details about Rocket League, I I, I don't know much about it, but just as a spectator esport, it's so exciting to watch. Like you don't need much game knowledge to be excited to watch something like Rocket League. S similar to uh, Smash Ultimate, because. Um, you know, it's all your favorite Nintendo characters battling out, trying to knock each other off the off the stage. And as simple as that, really. Like, there's a lot of technical information into it when it comes to, like, frame data, character abilities, and stuff like that. But that's all high-level stuff. If you're new to the game, honestly, just look at it and watch the big plays. Watch them fold out. Watch some spikes. So it looks like we are going to get started soon with our first match. Again, this is a best of three. Rylox is going to be our main commentator for Smash because unfortunately I am just not knowledgeable enough for it. Start the battle. So Tof it's okay, Topher. Just get hype. <laughs> After every kill, just yell. I was live for trying to. <laughs> 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 you guys are doing great, by the way. Yeah. You you guys don't need us there. We got it covered. Thank you all who Thank came. you, KG. Thank you, Captain Phoenix. Y'all are good. All right, KG pulling out the Diddy Kong. Okay, and the Meat Brawler coming out for Captain Phoenix. All right, pretty high matchup first first round. All right, let's get going. So we'll see how this plays out. A Meat Brawler against uh, a slightly smaller Brawler himself. The Diddy Kong. Kong coming out. Throwing those peanuts again. Okay, KG backing up a little bit. Oh, slips on the banana though. I feel like both players are trying to feel out the momentum of the game right now. Not overcommitting too much. How important is it to just start off a match as best as you can, especially early in the bracket? Uh, some people like to go out guns blaze and start matching all over the place, try to get some momentum rolling. But uh, I feel like a lot of the calculated players try to move around just a little bit, try to play some footsies, get the feel for the opponent, try to condition him a little bit with the projectile usage. I feel like that's what KG's trying to go for. As for Phoenix, uh, you know, he's a brawler. He's me brawler to be specific. He kind of wants to go in and starts punch punching this monkey around. 
Okay. Goes on the shot put. Doesn't find it just yet. Finds a Nair, though. Oh, KG with a good shield, though. Banana uses... Oh, accidentally walks into that shock put, though. Crowd shouting for Diddy. Really good banana placement. Try to put it on edge, so even to get up... We'll slip up Captain Phoenix. Oh, gets the down tilt? Okay, it doesn't confirm it, though. Ooh, doesn't get the tech, though. Oh, really good by Captain Phoenix. By the just spot dodge and the punish. Oh, KG, though. Just finding that command grab. So both players, both on their second stock. Seem to be following the first trend of the first dog, where they're just kind of getting a feel for each other right now. Smash Brothers being what it is. Very much a conditioning game. So I'm not too familiar with um, the Mii Brawler, but it seems like the, um, the up smash and the down smash in the air seems like uh, an up Ability where it can be used as a recovery, but also just like a really good punishing tool out of shield. Yeah, that kick up in the air and back down reminds me of Ike's. Uh, I don't know oh, Ether. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, reminds me of it. So far. Okay, banana throw. This is a Grab close match. Upper. Great way to start off our Smash Weekly Wednesday nights. If you're not down here, come on down. It's gonna be last couple hours. Watch out for those bananas. Mm -hmm. I hate those in Mario Kart. Oh, okay. KG's getting some strings in as soon as he gets a banana in. One, oh. good, one good hit on Phoenix. If he can he's brawling though. He's doing really good with those quick attacks and then he's all over the place. Again with that kick. Good block oh. from the shield. There we go. There's the knockout. Yeah, that'll happen if you spot dodge a forward smash from Diddy Kong. Yeah, what he says about that <laughs> smash lingo. I'll learn that eventually, four months from now. KG's trying to catch up. Pretty explosive matchup coming out of both of them because they both died at a pretty early, early stage. Diddy Kong being as light as he is, but also uh, oh, oh, unfortunate SD. Good job to Phoenix, but KG still warming up. I remember him from what was it last week? Yeah, it was last week. So, great thing about Smash that I see that on the stage is they'll sit there, talk to each other, do a little fist bump, good show of sportsmanship. Mm -hmm. So right now, if you are new to the stream, we are doing our Smash Weeklies here at Uptime Esports in Hanover, Massachusetts. If you're not here tonight, think about coming down next oh. Wednesday, uh, Wednesday. I think Chippy said he wasn't going to be able to make it tonight. No, no, no Chippy today. But I did, I did see brevity on the on the bracket, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. Here we go. All right, KG bringing it to the go. FD. Looks like he wants to play a lot more neutral here with against the Me Brawler. But uh, Captain Phoenix, I feel like um, if he keeps on doing the same routine, you know, shielding shielding the the Nair hits into. Uh, not just air hits, but literally any aerial hits with the you know the up like that. See, he just got two in a row. Seems like a pretty good option on a shield. Ooh. You know, I can only imagine how crazy it is to play against a Mii fighter, because that's probably something you don't usually see. Yeah. So like a lot of the Mii characters, not just the fighter, but the the gunman and the the swordsman. A lot of, not many people play them, so I imagine a lot, a lot, a lot of people don't get the experience they should get on it. But pretty underrated characters. Not gonna lie, I kind of hope we see ga uh, Mr. Game and Watch tonight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is fun to watch. And Tarps is here, so maybe you pull it out. Nice okay. combo. Phoenix is pretty comfortable with that meat fighter. Watch out for that banana. That's always so scary to hit, like right off the edge, because like, it sounds like a spike noise, and I, I, I worry for KG if he does get the spike off. He's 
one thing I've noticed with Smash Ultimate is watching these people actually know how to play the game. They have no problem go going off to the ledge and you know doing what they can to try and knock people out. I'd be scared. <laughs> Nice job, KG. That's the name of the game, though, in Smash Ultimate. You're, like, a lot of characters are able to go really far out there. Characters like Joker, Lucina, Palatina. Really good tools to, to edge guard with. And if you're not edge guarding, you're edge trapping. A lot of people, a lot of swordsmen actually have a lot of good tools for edge trapping. So Edge trapping. Let me write that down in my notebook for <laughs> lingo. I'll eventually learn. Yeah, you're you're having a crash course on Smash 101 right now. So Every Wednesday. <laughs> Okay, up throwing up here. Oh, down tilt. All right, runs up jab. There's the oh, he catches the banana. Got a little bit of. Peanut glory. comes out. Oh, gets the up. He shock put. Nice shield. Oh, okay. I like that, KG. I like that. I think KG's starting to pick up on Phoenix's technique, catching the patterns down a little bit. Phoenix might need to change it up. Oh, all right. Get some nice strings in. Nice combos. Oh. oh. Good job to KG. Again, if you're new to the stream and you're new to our Smash Weeklies, this is a best of three down here at Uptime Esports. Most all you... Most all y'all know that if you want to check out the bracket, just do the uh, bracket command in chat. You'll see uh, tonight's lineup. We're moving pretty fast. Already into round two for most matches. A lot of two no's in that first bracket. Diddy Kong. All right. KG, stick with the Diddy Kong. Match and Phoenix will probably stick to the brawler here. Pretty even matchup so far. Both care, uh, both players. Looking like they can either seal it out one one way or the other. So. I think we need to get a lifeguard out of them. You know, one of those megaphones. You yeah, megaphones. Yeah. <laughs> Two, one, go. Okay. Winner. Phoenix, interesting enough, going back to the. Oh, okay. That's I not didn't good. notice that interaction there. <laughs> I, I felt like he caught ledge, but maybe he just uh, bounced a little too far. It was enough to make them both laugh. <laughs> Winner of this will. Move on in the bracket to take on Unleashed. Right now, Phoenix is a stock up looking to capitalize. Still using that kit very well. Yeah, I, like he's using it as an out of shield option, but I noticed he's also using it like a uh, like an anti air ability. He's catching KG a lot with it. Oh. Almost good. Is that a cannonball or a bowling ball? That's a shock put. Oh, it's a shock put. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know me brawler was a Olympian? Apparently. <laughs> we'll see you in Tokyo. Oh, that's really good. Wasn't expecting Phoenix to uh, land on stage there, but KG with a good punish. Got the banana tactics going on. Oh, that would have been a hard read out of Phoenix. Oh, Town Tilt's coming out, though. Finds the back here. KG still got a long ways to catch up. Yeah, the unfortunate SD, but it's not out for him just yet, even though he's at a severe. Oh. Doesn't. Sparks, but no kill. Oh. <laughs> That's, I think he's just unfortunate on a lot of these moves. He knows what he's doing. He's just not getting the ledge grab. Yeah, when you're that far out with Diddy Kong, the, the control and the, the up is pretty harsh. Good block on a put. Shot put. That was pretty interesting, too, because he threw the banana after shielding the shot put, but the banana actually ran into the shot put itself. <laughs> Shout out to Nintendo for the physics. <laughs> So it looks like Rock does beat Banana. <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. Oh, almost reads the attack in place, though. KG's still staying alive, but Phoenix still has two stocks. Oh, oh and Phoenix took goes a for the gamble style on it. There. That was a gamble. Does have a serious percent advantage right now. Oh, that might seal the deal. I believe that's a, a side beat too. 
Good job. The Phoenix moving on. We'll take on Unleashed. As he put a tear in my, it, it did for me as well, Mitch. It did for me as well. Again, we are here at Uptime Esports for our Smash Ultimate Wednesday Weekly. We're also trying to do another weekly. It would be Monday Night Madden. So if you're at any football players out there, we also have other events going on like Apex on Friday, Rock League on Saturday, and NBA 2K on Sunday. Actually, I forgot. We have another fighting game um, night tomorrow night, don't we? Yep, we got fight night tomorrow. So fight now. Come out, hosted by GG Bunch, our local resident Street Fighter player. We're players around the New England area, mainly in Massachusetts. We're going to be playing just training sessions in uh, Street Fighter Five, and then 